Do you know that I've been to ICC before to give evidence? I never wanted to say it. Do you know I have been to ICC, International Criminal Court, to give evidence before? They said we shouldn't announce it. I kept quiet all these years. Are you aware of that? I went to ICC myself to go and give evidence. Are you aware of that? And some people came with me and they were there with me. Those who can vouch. I went to ICC to go and give evidence about Operation Pattern Dance and the effort of the zoo to exterminate our people. I, uh, I'm just telling you for the first time. But if we don't say these things, it's as if we're not, nothing is happening. You do, some of we are like a dog in a pond. When you see the serenity of the movement of a dog or a swan in a lake or a pond, you think their glide through the surface of the water is just effortless. But uh, just right underneath the surface, what is propelling them is their feet. They are working very hard to move forward. But you can never see it. When, when, when you're observing it from afar, you, you will think that the, a, a, a dog or a swan is just gliding through the surface of the water. You don't know that there's a lot of hard work going on underneath. These are the things that people do not appreciate nor understand. Without me telling you today, will you know? Go and ask them, they know those I took to ICC with me to go and give evidence. And that is why those idiots, they, they, I feel sorry for them. The likes of everybody who, who has a hand in the death of their friends, I feel sorry for you. Because we will never forgive nor, forgive nor forget what you have done. Never, ever, ever. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. We, dear friends, we have a lot of enemies understand this very well. I just want to give you one or two examples so that you have that, that, that can guide you in terms of your reasoning and your decision making. You know that Google is against us, are you aware of that? All of you well know that uh, uh, Facebook is against us. Even Twitter is against us, are you aware of that? Some of you don't understand what, that is why sometimes I say there has to be a compulsory lesson in the history of Biafra for everybody who aspires to be a principal officer of state. You need to understand the demons you are fighting. Do you know that only a few months ago, if you go to Google and type in IPOB, you will see us, you will see everything there about IPOB fighting for Biafra and all the rest of it. Are you aware of that? I ask you to go this evening, now, or morning, or afternoon, depending on where you are, go and type in IPOB, IPOB on Google search engine. They'll start quoting you New York Stock Exchange. It started happening only two months ago. They bust them over. What they want to do is to, is to airbrush our presence away from the minds of people. If you go and you Google Namdekan, you will see all the fake, fake news from DSS. That's what you will see. This is what group says to ESN. That is what group, they don't exist. Go and Google the name of one of the people they, they claim is leading one of these groups. They don't exist. That is the news that you find under my name. When you do Google search, you go to Biafra the same. Our own IPOB, Indigenous People of Biafra. Just type before you type in IPOB, it's only our news. Now you go there, it's about stock exchange in America. That is how they work. Because you people think we are fighting for land. Who is for land? These are, these are stark illiterates. Animals are better than them. They can't listen very well. These are stark illiterates. They, they, are they educated? You can see what the mess they have done of the economy, the security, everything in the zoo is down the drain because of them. An exclusive full and a government. You see how wretchedly incompetent they are. Do you think they can stop Biafra? Of course not. <laughs> Those stopping Biafra <laughs> is Britain now. You know that? And their allies because they know what Biafra is all about. But some of you don't know this. That is why sometimes you lose focus. Let me tell you what happened during the colonial era in Africa. The white man came to Africa with only 5,000 men, 5,000 white people. They came. They were called the West Africa Frontier Force. They were established in the Gold Coast, then Ghana. Only 5,000 British soldiers came. But for Britain to conquer the rest of the Anglophone Africa, they needed black people to do it for them. And that's what we're facing today. Till this very morning. 
You know what they did? They went to Ghana, they hired Ghanaian men, black men, to help them to come from Badagri to conquer all their fellow blacks for them. <laughs> You know, so if you if you act, if you seriously think about the brain and nature of a black man, believe you me, you drink poison tonight and you will die. Colonialism in Africa became possible because a few white people came down to West Africa, convinced other black people to help a white man to go and conquer their fellow black people, and they happily did it in return for their children going to Eton and Oxford or Cambridge, they now came back as your so-called pioneer nationalists. But none of you ever knew that they came to do the bidding of the white master. That is one thing that a black man cannot understand nor unravel. And that is the beginning and end of the problem of black people all over the world. Look at how Britain is using full illiterates to subjugate all of you. You cannot see it because you're daft. They gave you your name, Nigeria, didn't they? They gave you all the festivals in your calendars that you celebrate. Nobody ever got up one day to say, if God created all men equal, how come a black man cannot go to Europe and give them all these holidays? Nobody, absolutely nobody, is doing that or willing to do that. They can never do it. They can never ever do it. These are the things that our people need to appreciate. That is why when they recruit them, look at how full and ordinary from Nachinama. Kato Oriad has recruited somebody who is an engineer in Omahe. We take claims he went to school. He's a lawyer. But those controlling me are Kato Oriad and Nachinama. People who cannot even write their own, spell their own names. Are you aware of that? The same thing that the white man did to us when they came, the white man trained the Fulanese to be doing to all of you. And you're there looking like idiots. They came to him and they picked a whole of them, a wretched fool, and put him in office in Douglas House. Now he has given a part of our law to be Etiala. And all of you are just there looking, looking. Oh, what are we going to do? We need to unite. We need to do now that IPOB is doing something tangible. Instead of you to to to, to instead of the idiocy you're suffering from to leave you. Just say, oh, where is the law backing? Yes, and where is the law backing full and agenda with this? Where is the law backing full and bandits raping our mothers? When a girl was butchered in Uli, in Ihiala butchered and cut into pieces what did you do hope you know what did you do i'm asking you oh, and and Jaren, and what did you do when people are in new water even yesterday killing people maiming and killing pan death what did you do nothing absolutely nothing now that we have done something some of you idiots anyway i pray that the full and come I, I want them to come oh, let's be honest i want them to come Remember what I told you many years ago? They will kill us. We will kill them in the end. Biafra will come. Everything I tell you comes to pass. They will know that they will come. They are foolish. By nature, they are very hopeless. They will come. This time around, they, we will turn Biafra land into a burial ground for terrorists. They will understand how serious we are. We have raised it. It is no longer coming down until freedom is declared. They understand that very well. They understand that very well.